Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today I'm here to do a 12 by 12 layout with Close to My Heart's April's collection of the month. It is the Cease the Days collection, Cease the Day collection. And I am actually using the paper pack, um, the compliments, and the enamel dots. Oh, and also the card matching cardstock. You do see I pull out the yellow cardstock. I will bring in some glacier cardstock as well here in a little bit. Now for my background, I'm going to be using the netting paper, but I do go ahead and map my photos first. These are photos of Jim and also photos from, um, uh, photos of a low country boil we had went do you guys remember back when i don't know a couple months ago when we were able to socialize yeah we went to a low country boil and these are photos from there so i do go ahead and mat it on that anchor paper the photos on the anchor paper then i'm going to go ahead and cut out Mmm, I think it's a nine by nine of that multi paper with the shells on it, and then a nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter of the yellow cardstock to go ahead and mount that on. Now, this navy wood grain is by far my favorite paper. The opposite side of it is that colorful main paper of the seashells, which I also pretty much adore. Um, I am gonna use this because we were actually, you know, at a low country boil on the river with, you know, there's seashells in there and crabs in there. We weren't eating crabs, we were eating shrimp, but that's beside the point. It did uh, kind of work for me, so I go ahead and use that. Here you can see in the top right hand corner of your screen, there is a sketch. This is a sketch I'm going to be using, and you can find it over on my Pinterest um, board if you'd like. I go ahead and take all these compliments out. I'm going to take them all out of the um, the backing or the holder just so I can, you know, be able to store them a little bit easier going forward. But at first I did pull out that Happy Days thinking I was going to use that Happy Days as my title. I will end up going in a different direction with that. Although looking back at it and seeing it there, I do like it. The thing I didn't like about it and still now kind of gives me a little bit of concern is that is so much bigger that square is so much bigger even than my photos so i was like hmm, i don't know here i am going to go through the card pack um four by six and three by four cards that are also from the same collection from close to my heart i don't find any that i want to use on this one just yet but i do want this blue wood grain to stand off the paper a little bit more so i am going to go ahead and do a border around that as well with this light blue Mm, white green I think it's called glacier I'm not really 100% sure I probably should have researched that or looked that up before I came on but I didn't so there you go I do use that that's in the um seize the day cardstock collection for this this um col collection Oh, my word. Uh, words, right? I do take out some circle dies. I'm going to cut one circle. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and stick my title on. I am going to settle with that title that says relax. I'm also going to use a Tim Holtz die to cut out just a little portion of a tag. I didn't need the whole tag, so I was able to use just a scrap of paper to get, you know, the top part of the tag because I'm going to end up tucking that so it didn't really matter. I also cut out a reinforced of the same paper as the background to you know have my tag finished off I do like to have myself a finished tag here I'm going to go ahead and commit to the placement of the wood grain and I'm also going to commit to the placement of the photograph box the photo box and you can see how I'm laying this out it's kind of how it's going to be I do love these little compliment pieces that come with this collection I think they are so adorable I only ended up getting one I might end up getting another one because I do have several other photographs that I want to scrapbook for Tiffany because when they were down here on vacation and I love them because there are so many already pre-made titles to them which is fantastic if you're scrapbooking for someone else because if you're scrapbooking someone else's photos maybe you don't necessarily know what the title should be you know what I mean so if you have a pre-made title to it then I just find that easier less stressful on myself because I always want things to be you know not perfect but at least nice and yeah it just makes it easier 
I am going to go ahead and pop this shell right here up on some foam tape. It's going to fill up that little gap spot right there between the edge of the tag and it's going to kind of go over the photo. Now on the circle, I'm just using that T-square ruler to kind of get it straight because as you can see, that is a linear pattern that's on there and hmm, you might want it to be straight and not, you know, be going off at an angle. So I did use a T-square ruler to kind of get it straightish. And then I'm also popping the Relax Title up on some foam tape. I'll go ahead and stick that down here. Now you can see where I stick it down. I stuck it down a little differently than I had originally laid it out. I went ahead and filled up more of the red circle with the title than I did originally. Originally I had it um, kind of flushed up over to the right hand side more. All right, I was going to pull in some of these other pieces that are from a Cartabella um, line, but I decided to forego those and use the enamel dots that are from this same collection. Now, my video did stop. I'm trying, guys. I am trying to keep aware of the video, but I'm not doing a very good job of it. So you do miss me putting down all those enamel dots, but that's it. That's it this time. So, hey, there you go. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please check my links down below. I do have my close to my heart link down there if you want to hop over and grab yourself this collection as well. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.